Okay, today I'm going to show you how you can use API management add-on for Heroku to secure and manage your uh, backend. So we will deploy a simple uh, Node.js application that's a simple Hello World service uh, at the add-on and uh, create the API on top of it. So uh, we'll start by just downloading uh, our sample code uh, from GitHub. Uh, let's have a quick look at the code. As you can see, it's a very simple Node.js application, just provides one uh, REST resource, hello, that takes one parameter name and shows you hello name as a response. So let's uh, create the Heroku application. Push it to Heroku, push our code. And then once uh, it's up there, we'll uh, scale it up, make sure that it has at least one web instance running. Here we go. Uh, let's see it working. So let's see our backend running in the browser. I'll copy and paste our URL in the browser and add the hello uh, and name parameter. Let's use world. Here's our hello world. Okay, so the backend is working. Now it's time to secure it with the add-on. Uh, let's create the uh, WSO2 API Cloud add-on and open it. So the first time you open it, it will try to locate if you already have a subscription, which I have in my case, I have a WSO2 account. So it just got me in. If I didn't have it, uh, it would have uh, asked me to create one and would have created it for me. Now we will add an API, uh, give it some sort of display name. That's something that your uh, subscribers will see. Context is what will show up in the URL and then the version, so we can have multiple versions of the API later on. Let's add our hello um, resource and the name parameter. Instead of doing that manually, I could have imported a swagger file or something, uh, but I'm just using the manual way to make it easier for the demo. Um, and also you can provide additional descriptions for everything, again, for your subscribers to see what you meant with each of the resources and parameters. You can also upload any documentation that you have or use a WYSIWYG editor uh, to edit your documentation online. Now that we have defined the API, we need to provide the backend URL for it. And that backend URL is obviously the URL of our um, Heroku service. So I'll just copy and, and paste it here. I can also use other parameters, like if I had uh, basic authentication, some other authentication to the backend if I wanted. Um, to use um, some kind of uh, on-the-fly transformations and so on. Here I can select throttling tier. I could have multiple throttling tiers and I can define them within Double Stick API Cloud. I just pick the gold from the ones that I had by default. And now uh, I've published my API and we are now in the developer portal. So that's what your subscribers see. Uh, they can subscribe to the APIs. I've just done that. They can manage their auth keys. So let me regenerate my keys quickly. And obviously they can browse your APIs and subscribe to your APIs. So here's the API that we have just published. We can uh, read documentation and so on. We can find it in the API console, see all the parameters and all the strings that we have uh, provided. And obviously provide the parameter, click try it out and see the response and the curl command that corresponds to it and so on. Um, you get all the other functionality of the uh, portal. You can read documentation, download SDKs for the APIs and so on. And uh, also uh, now that uh, we have uh, added the add-on and associated it with the application right within Heroku, I can obviously also find that add-on and uh, click on it and get single sign-on into the uh, API cloud to manage my APIs. So here's the single sign-on working, and here's, again, here's my publishing UI with all the analytics, uh, APIs, and all the tools. So that's it for the demo. Again, we've download, we've created a simple app, uh, defined uh, an API on top of it, added the add-on. For more information, find the add-on uh, in Heroku.